how to flush out free radicals, heavy metals, and toxins coming up next. The process of oxidation by heavy metals and toxins in the human body create products called free radicals that can damage cells, both their membranes and other cellular structures. Let's go over the best way to prevent free radical damage right now. I'm sure you're well aware of the term antioxidants, but are you aware of the mother of all antioxidants? If not, you've come to the right place. You're going to learn how to flush out these free radicals from your system for better health. No need to continue holding the suspense. The mother of all antioxidants is glutathione. Did you know the secret to minimizing toxin and heavy metal damage, as well as heart disease and some forms of cancer, lie in antioxidants? There are more than 75,000 articles on the internet talking about antioxidants, yet most people still don't know how to utilize them to their maximum benefit. Let's go over glutathione, the mother of all antioxidants, master detoxifier, and overall immune system support. The good news is that your body produces this simple chemical on its own. It's a combination of three building blocks, amino acids, glutamine, and cysteine. The bad news is that your poor diet, toxic pollution, infections, stress, medication, aging, trauma, and radiation all can deplete your body of glutathione. This can leave you vulnerable to cell damage, infection, and cancer. Your liver can even get overloaded, making it hard for it to do its job of detoxification. Altogether, glutathione can be an amazing immune booster and detoxifier that adds to the health of your entire body. As we spoke of, glutathione is naturally produced by your body, but there are some ways to increase glutathione production externally. You may be thinking now, Dr. Max, all right, all right, how do I increase glutathione in my body? And don't worry about it, I got you covered. Though your body can create glutathione naturally, let's look at some external sources to ramp up that glutathione production. Here's a list of common foods that will increase that glutathione in your body in no time. Avocados, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, cinnamon, cabbage, cardamom, garlic, onions, and peas. And let's not forget peaches, red peppers, tomatoes, turmeric, and watermelon. You may have noticed that all these items are healthy foods that you may already have in your pantry and refrigerator right now. We all eat too much processed and prepackaged food, but healthy, natural food has such amazing benefits. And honestly, due to all these processed and prepackaged food, our body is paying the consequence. The idea is to stay away from infection and disease. And to do that, you have to eat good, high quality food. Simple as that, but we will go over a few ways to increase glutathione outside of these natural foods in just a few minutes. As for those of you out there that are passionate about exercise and fitness, I have some good news for you. You can reduce free radicals, heavy metals, and toxins by sweating while simultaneously staying hydrated. One of the ways your body gets rid of toxic material out of it is through your sweat glands. So keep hydrated and keep working out. Let's go over some more ways that glutathione can help protect you against chronic disease before going into other ways that you can increase your glutathione. The secret to glutathione's power is a sulfur chemical. It is a very sticky molecule that acts as a trap for these bad things that are in our bodies. Free radicals, toxins, and heavy metals like mercury, all get stuck to it and flushed out of our system. Another powerful property of glutathione is it helps recycle antioxidants, allowing the toxic levels of nasty chemicals in our body to remain low and not get too high. When our body is dealing with free radicals, it's basically passing them from one molecule to another. It may go from vitamin E to vitamin C to lipoic acid and then to glutathione. And this is where they're going to cool off and chill down and your body is going to recycle another molecule of glutathione to continue that good work. Glutathione is very important for helping our immune system fight chronic illness. How you might ask? Glutathione acts as a transporter of deadly toxins directly out of the body. You can think of it like a fly trap. Glutathione sticks to deadly toxins, carries them to your bile, then subsequently to your stool and out of your body. And believe me, you want these toxins out of your body as soon as possible 
before they have the opportunity to wreck damage everywhere. Let's go over all nine ways that you can increase glutathione in your body. Number one, consume more sulfur rich food items. Try and consume the natural foods that we spoke of before. And remember, in order to increase glutathione, remember to consume some of these top foods, onions, watercress, kale, and broccoli. Number two, bioactive whey protein can also help. Whey protein is an excellent source of the amino acids and cysteine necessary to build glutathione molecules. To note, your whey protein should be bioactive and not consist of denatured proteins. Let me explain this a little bit. As you know, whey protein is a byproduct of milk. And when they process milk, what they do a lot of times is they pasteurize it. And what pasteurization is, is they'll heat it up at a low temperature for an extremely long period of time. And by doing that, it kills any pathogens in it that could cause harm. But the downside of it is that it denatures the protein of that milk. And you gotta remember, this is great for milk shelf life, but this isn't the best for the building blocks that your body needs to create glutathione molecules. Number three, exercise. And like we spoke of before, exercise is an excellent way to increase glutathione production. How this is gonna happen is that exercise boosts your immune system. And remember, you don't have to purchase a high intensity interval training course to get these benefits. A simple walk or jog for 30 minutes a day will work magic. Number four, try N-acetylcysteine. N-acetylcysteine has been widely used for many years for lung disease and for liver failure. In the hospital, we even use N-acetylcysteine to prevent kidney damage when a patient needs contrast dyes for x-ray examinations. Number five, ALA or alpha lipoic acid. This is another antioxidant that can be considered after glutathione. ALA helps maintain good brain function, detoxification, blood sugar control, and even energy production. Number six, consuming methylation nutrients, such as B6 and B12. Methylation nutrition is required for cell division, early CNS development, gene expression, detoxification, immune cell differentiation, cellular energy, metabolism, and hormone clearance. And remember, you must take these nutrients in their active form. I'm gonna link in the description below the active form of B6, B12, and folate. Number seven, milk thistle. Milk thistle has been used for years to help treat liver disease. It also helps boost glutathione production in the body. Number eight, the antioxidant family. It must include vitamin C and vitamin E. As you remember earlier, these are what help recycle glutathione so it can be used more efficiently. And finally, number nine, selenium. This is another crucial mineral that helps recycle and create new glutathione. So let's remember, the mother of all antioxidants is glutathione. It's a master detoxifier and it's created by your own body. You can increase its level and its production from many natural foods like garlic, onions, and other sulfur-containing foods like peas. And finally, we learned nine other ways to turn your body into a heavy metal, free radical removing, toxin removing machine by helping increase your body's glutathione. And in case you're interested in any of the supplements I went over today, I'm gonna to put some links below to some of the high quality ones that fall into each bracket. This is on Amazon, so there is an Amazon affiliate link to it. So the channel will receive a small commission for that. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It helps the channel out. And more than anything else, it's gonna help your health out. Thank you so much for stopping past the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content or you found it useful. If you have anything that you'd like to suggest for a future video or something that you'd like to learn about, always remember, you can put it in the comments below. And always, have a beautiful day.